My name is Lucy Hedges and I'm here in Barcelona with Qualcomm, which means it's time for Mobile World Congress and one of the biggest mobile events in the tech calendar. Now, we're here to talk all things XR. So I'm going to spend some time walking around the booth, talking to visitors about the state of the XR landscape before grabbing some time with Hugo Schwartz, VP and GM for all things XR and Metaverse here at Qualcomm. So if you're ready, let's do this. What excites you the most about the XR space? I think it's just like a super intuitive way to interact mm. with a computer, also in a very seamless way, it's especially AR. What excites you the most about augmented reality and virtual reality? It's something which is not uh, present before and we can create a future. Do you have any questions or a, a key question that you'd love to put to a Qualcomm exec? I mean, what does the future look like? One of the things that these XX will know best is like what they have planned down the yeah, road, but yeah. we will know in like three years from now yeah. or something like that. So that's probably like super fascinating if like someone can answer that. So we're here to talk all things XR and what better person to do that with than Hugo Schwartz, VP and GM of Qualcomm's XR efforts. Hugo, hello. Hello, thank you for having me. Oh, on thank your you for show. taking the time. I know you're incredibly busy today. And now, before I fire my first question at you, I've got to ask what have you got hanging off your top pocket there? I thought you were thinking were my sunglasses, <laughs> but then sunglasses at MWC, right? Mm -hmm. But no, this is an uh, AR glass, uh, one that we just announced today with our partner. Mm -hmm. uh, we call this uh, a reference design, meaning that our customers, the hardware uh, manufacturers, the device manufacturers, they use it to build their own. Yeah. So through this, this is going to revolutionize communication, yes. revolutionize computing. It's so incredible to see how these smart specs have evolved. I mean, these are so thin compared to a few years ago when they were quite bulky, quite bulky and a little bit unwieldy, right? Here we go. Slide on easily. They're not too unobtrusive on the face. How do I look? Good? <laughs> right, you can have them back before I, I will steal them. So yes. what's the role of XR in business as you see it? And do you see it becoming more mainstream in the future? Yes, you probably not in your line of work, but in my line of work, yeah. I stay almost the whole day, either in meetings or in front of my computer. Yeah. But there's so much that I want to do in my computer. Now, can you imagine if I can, everything that I have open, just instead of being in my monitor of the computer, I can just put it in the air. You know, I, oh, I want my calendar yes. here, I want my PowerPoint here, my WhatsApp. Virtual and screens, I exactly. love it. Mm. So then, you know, you start seeing, oh, this is something I can use. Yeah, yeah. The other one is having meetings, virtual meetings. Mm. You know, we need to travel so much. Yes. What if, you know, we can have you know, presential like meetings, mm. but in VR or AR. Yes. And before I let you go, Hugo, I know you're a busy guy. We've had a few questions from people that I've been talking to around the booth. Oh, really? What, what yeah. do they want to know? <laughs> they want to know, what does the future hold for XR? I know you might need to keep the few cards to your chest, but give us something. Give us something exciting to well, think about. Know, I, I, I really think um, we're at a phase right now. If I compare, if I have a parallel to around 2005, when you know smartphones were not yet a thing, right? That everyone was like, hey, why am I really gonna do a video call on a yeah. phone? Or watch a you know sports on my phone and and then give it a few years and that's how what we do. Yeah, exactly. Right? And I think that's what we expect with virtual mm. and augmented reality today. It's already gaining traction, mm. but it's going to explode. And uh, you know, we might have a future where I don't need screens anymore yeah. because everything can be done in front oh. of my eyes. Thank you so much. It's a real pleasure to talk to you.